things. And we've seen Iggy really take time this season to figure out, as you mentioned, what makes him happy, where he kind of fits in. Mm -hmm. As you were going across that journey, what surprised you the most about what did and didn't work for Iggy? And how do you think he can find happiness in whatever form that is as we reach these final episodes? I think what happens with people when they go on that journey, and this is speaking from experience, where you you're looking for the like a thing you're looking for the thing that'll ring your bell that'll be your aha moment but you very quickly realize that wherever you go there you are you know what i mean that's the old adage and it's it's frustrating because you're like god how do i you know you think it's you can find a thing or it's the person you're with and what you eventually learn is like it's all you it's all you it's always you um, you might not be with the right person. That's true. But you're never going to be with the right person until you become whole as a person yourself. So I think Iggy is probably a little late in life learning that lesson the hard way. So it was fun watching him try to like adopt a dog and go to like wine tastings and go to the gallery and, you know, and then pick up weightlifting and like, I did all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was really like David Schulner even wrote me he was like hey do you mind if we steal one more thing from your life can we make Iggy get into deadlifting I was like yeah all right because I do I've been a CrossFitter for years and I've done a lot of heavy lifting I don't anymore because it's terrible for your body don't do it if you're out there at home listening um but I was like yeah but it, it just the one thing I noticed the most was like I think this is a really similar journey for everybody who's trying to figure out who they are because the you know you hit the middle of your life and you're like god damn it man i got half left i'm going to i'm going to figure out how to be the happiest human being i can be for the rest of this journey i have and uh hey you often point the finger at the wrong at the wrong people in the wrong places when you really should be just putting some real work in on your own you know